here we have another one of the centers of a triangle. This one is called the centroid. And the centroid is where the medians intersect. And remember, medians are the lines that start from an, uh, a vertex, and then they go down to the midpoint of the opposite side. So they slice these in half. Um, the interesting quality about the centroid is that it cuts the median always into a part that's twice as long as the shorter part. Or the whole length here, um, one part is two thirds of it and the other part is one third of it. So let's see if we can use that information to solve a problem involving the centroid. So here we have a diagram and these are the medians. They're telling us uh, that these segments are the medians and they meet at V, so V is the centroid. Let's um, let's mark down the information we know already. It says VU equals 10. So this is 10. And VS is 7. And PT, oh, that's this whole thing, is 21. So that is 21. And we want to find PV, QV, and RS. Well, let's take this a, a piece at a time. PV is this length right here. That's the longer part of the median, and we know the centroid cuts it so that the longer part is two-thirds of the whole length. So we would want two-thirds of 21. And let's see, 20 divided by 3 is 7 times 2 is 14. So PV is 14. Let's try QV. So QV is this length right here. We know that this one is 10, and that's the shorter arm. And the longer arm is always going to be twice that. So this is going to be 20. So QV is 20. And then it says PT. Sorry, it says uh, uh, RS is what we want next. So R to S, that's this whole length. We've got the shorter arm here at 7. So the longer arm is going to be twice that. That'll be 14. And then the whole length is 7 plus 14, or 21. So RS is 21. So that's a little bit of work with the centroid.